Hi subscribers, what's up? This is me, Wivs from Slidenote here. In this video, I'm gonna start talking about XML parsing in Android and the three approaches by which we can do that. Now you can say this is also in Java, you can say this is in Android, whatever you wanna assume, you are welcome to do that. But since I'll be using async task and other Android based constructs for downloading the XML files and then processing them, we can consider these to be Android techniques. First, what is parsing and what are these techniques and what is all this DOM, SAX, TAX and what am I supposed to do with that? That's a question that you have if you're a beginner. So let's take a look at that. First step, what is parsing? Well, extracting data from a structured document like your XML, HTML or JSON or any other format that has a certain way of writing stuff is called parsing. Now, take a look at this simple document here. It says on sale there is a tag called item then there's a name banana 0.59 there's again name tomato price 1.9 as you can see this is a structured document it has some tags like there's item tag it has name price tags inside the item tag and what you want to do is you want to extract this data which is the cost of a banana is 0.59 the cost of a tomato is 1.19 dollars now this is what you want to extract so that's what is meant by parsing and why would you do this well you see your internet based data that you mostly see these days like RSS feeds they use XML for displaying all their data like if you want to read some data from Mashable or if you want to extract some data from some other website that data is gonna be in this format and you want to extract the pieces of text from that and that's what you're gonna use so XML parsing is nothing parser is nothing but a piece of code that does this work of taking this structured data and extracting text out of it is called a parser so what are the different reasons why would you do parsing? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that the document is well formed before you start parsing. That means all the opening tags are perfectly matching with the closing tags. You know very well in XML, if you have an opening tag, if you don't have a closing tag, that is considered incorrect as per XML syntax. Now, also you want to make sure that the XML document has some kind of DTD or XML schema. In other words, a DTD is nothing but a way or a schema. It's nothing but a way of telling what tags are there, what tags are contained inside, what other tags, what kind of attributes out there are present and those kind of information is present inside this. Then what you want to do is to access or modify various elements and attributes specified in the document in a manner that meets the application. Now of course either you want to extract the data or you want to actually modify the data and put something from your app inside that. Now for example let's say you're making some chat application and you want to store the chat conversation of two friends in the XML format so that you can transfer it to some third person or transfer it to the server. You can do that with XML parsing. So what are the three primary methods of XML parsing? First is called document object model parsing or in other words DOM parsing. In other words there's an entire document. First step read or download the whole document from top to bottom. Then go ahead and figure out what tags are there what sub tags are contained inside other tags, what attributes does each tag have, what kind of text is there inside. Now if you see this tree diagram here, this is roughly what you construct after DOM parsing. Now we will be talking about this in a lot more detail about how this is constructed in the upcoming videos. The second method you have is called push parsing. In other words, you have your code, you have your parser. Now the parser is gonna keep reading the XML document as it encounters each opening tag or closing tag or each attribute. It's gonna take the data and it's gonna pass it to your code and it's gonna tell here, here's the data, take it. Pull parsing is very similar but here rather your XML parser is gonna beg your code to give data. Now okay, again if you don't understand the difference between push parsing and pull parsing at this point. Well, don't break your head over it because I'm going to have separate videos explaining each of these things in the upcoming videos. There's going to be a whole series based on just DOM parsing, based on sex parser and stacks parser. Those are the three types of parsers that you have. So, in the next video, we're going to start digging about XML parsing in detail. In the meantime, if you guys do like what you saw, like this video, share this video, subscribe to Slide Nerd, and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.